Uh, I'm Randy Skaggs. I'm the 7th and 8th grade ELA teacher at the J. Graham Brown School, and this is my 19th year in education. So, Children of Blood and Bone, it was, it's really a, a neat story. I was intrigued by it. A lot of my friends were recommending it to me. Um, I really was fascinated by a book that's based off of West African mythology, because uh, a lot of our kids are so familiar with Greek and Roman and Nor Scandinavian mythology. I was like, this sounds really interesting. And then I read the book and loved it. I loved, it's just such a compelling story. Tommy Adeyemi is such a great writer. And I was gonna do this. I was gonna get the money for the books and teach it in my classroom. And then I was approached by the, the JCPS Department of Diversity, Equity, and Poverty and asking if I would be interested in creating a unit on Children of Blood and Bone. It was really like fate, destiny. And I was like, okay. And so then not only could I do this, but I could maybe potentially help other teachers in the process and you know get a little bit more resources than I might have had otherwise. The students love the book. Um, they were a little intimidated when they saw uh, how thick the book is. A couple of kids were even just teasing me about how many trees had to die for this unit that we're doing. Um, but they are into it. In fact, I've had a lot of kids who've kind of read ahead they couldn't stop themselves and I just decided I'm not going to worry about that. I, I would rather people love the book and read it. But it has incredibly strong protagonists. They are flawed and so you know just you can really identify with them. The West African mythology is incredible um, and I don't know it's a very empowering and wonderful book. I love it.